Hey guys, it's Auto Odometer here. And in those first couple clips, you were noticing that my belts were squeaking. And at first, I wasn't really sure what it was, but after doing some investigating, I found that it was kind of a common problem here in the 96 to 02 Toyota 4Runners and Toyota Tacomas that have this V6 engine. This is the 3.4 liter V6 engine, and it actually has three different belts. One attaches to the alternator, one attaches to the power steering pump, and then down here, uh, later in the video, we'll get down underneath the car and we'll fix the belt or tighten the belt that goes on the alternator. You have to loosen up this bolt here. And then on the other two, you also have to loosen up a couple bolts and then start to tighten a guide pin. Now we're gonna go down here and show you what each of these guide pins looks like. And we have to unloosen one bolt here. You can see that there's two bolts, but the, the one on top is just for the oil dipstick tube. So take your 14 millimeter uh, ratchet wrench, and this was probably the best tool for this job all around for all three belts. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find this and get this. So go ahead and crack it off. You don't have to back the bolt out all the way. You just have to loosen it up. So when you turn the tensioning bolt there on the bottom, it's able to tighten the belt up and then you can tighten this bolt back down. You can see that the belt was pretty loose. Definitely don't want that much play in it. So the tensioning bolt is 12 millimeters and again this is probably the best tool for it. You just want to get a little feel for it to be able to tell when it's actually starting to get a little tight. When you start ratcheting this down here, you'll actually notice that it's actually pretty easy to ratchet. You want to make sure you're going in the right direction. You want to make sure you're actually in the tightening motion, so it's turning it to the right. Starts to become tight. You'll notice on your wrench that it'll start to get hard to actually turn the bolt, almost like the bolt's being completely tightened into a hole. Let's go back down here and see what kind of progress we made. You can tell that the alternator uh, bottom triangle piece there is definitely moved to the right a lot farther or, or a lot more. I'm putting I'm putting quite a bit of tension here on the belt, and the belt is not moving as much as it as much as it did before. So once you're satisfied with the tension you have on your belt, go ahead and tighten up your loosening nut right there. Once you're done with the alternator belt, come over here to the power steering belt. And there's going to be two bolts that you have to unloosen. And I found that you had to unloosen the bolts that you actually had to unloosen but not take off. I want to give credit to where credit is due. There's this YouTube channel called Toyota Maintenance. And if you're not if you own a Toyota 4Runner or a Tacoma, you need to subscribe to his channel because he has great uh, videos out there for Toyota 4Runners and Tacomas. So there's the guide pin here for the air or, or for the power steering pump. And here it is behind and underneath the power steering pump. This is probably the best uh, shot or angle I can get, and it's probably the hardest one you're gonna have to do. You might have to take off the air box and or you might not have to do. I didn't personally didn't want to take off the air box, and it was actually quite a bit of a struggle. Uh, it took me quite a while to tighten that pin up. But before we have to tight that, uh, pipe, tighten that pin up, go ahead and unloosen these two uh, bolts here. You can see that they're backed off. There's the one on the left and then the one on the right. Once they're backed out just a little bit, you want to head down there. It's right above the compressor, that bolt right there underneath the power steering pump. That's the AC compressor right there with that, uh, uh, the, the belt underneath that little bolt right there. So try to do the best you can. I know it can be pretty frustrating at times, especially sometimes these cars, they don't give you enough room to really work on them. It's gonna be uh, slow. It's gonna be kinda tough, but that's why I really recommend the ratchet wrench here. 
and you notice that we're tightening it to the right so we're sp tightening it up which is going to pull the power steering pump and put tension on the belt which is what we want here's another angle I had to move the camera to be able to put my hammer to be able to put my hand down there to be able to try to do this some more keep working at it eventually you'll get the belts tightened up once it uh, your wrench becomes hard to turn you basically have tightened it as much as you can put some tension on the belt and see if you're pretty satisfied with the tension and then go ahead and tighten up the two bolts that you loosened up tighten them as hard as you can I use both these kits here if you guys want to check them out the uh, ratchet kit is what I'm going to be using most here for the belt tensioning so now we have to tighten up the AC compressor belt that one was actually squealing the most you have to look off this skid plate here and there's five bolts you have three in the front there and then two right here and these two you actually have to come up through those, those holes there so that one actually doesn't have a bolt connected to it so you don't have to take off this bottom skid plate which I did at first but then realized you didn't have to so now that we are under here with the uh, third and final belt right behind the radiator for the cooling system you have to loosen up one bolt whereas on the alternator you unloosen one bolt and on the power steering you unloosen two here you have to loosen this one right here which is just an I think it's an idler pulley so unloosen that and then you have this belt right here that you're trying to tension up and the best way to get to it is behind this little hole right here this little cavity once you unloosen the idler pulley go behind here and start tightening this belt up again again this is the uh, the right hand rule or the uh, take you want to tighten it to the right and always be sure to check your tension on your belt while you're doing this and remember once your wrench starts pulling once your wrench starts getting a little difficult to be able to pull you probably put as much tension as you can on the belt you can see it's still pretty loose here so we're gonna have to do a little bit more Once you're satisfied with the tension on the belt, start up. go ahead and tighten up this little pulley, idler pulley, but no. and then you're ready to start her back up. And this job was pretty simple. All you had to do was purchase this ratchet kit, kit here, and I'll leave a link in the description for you to check that out. Start it up. If you enjoyed that video, subscribe to the channel here at Auto Odometer. Make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment below. And if you're interested in any more how to or fix it videos, go ahead and click on some of these videos here. And as always, thanks for watching.